it, little bitch. You can fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. Hit the school, I can get them both. I don't want to choose, and I'm quick. Cut a nigga off, so don't get comfortable. Look, I don't dance now, I make money move. Say, I don't gotta dance, I make money move. If I see you now, hi guys this is Shakia again back with another video um if you haven't already please press that red button down below subscribe make sure you turn on that post notification so every time I post a video you will be notified um and also comment down below what other videos you want me to do because you know uh, I want to be in contact with my viewers and you know my subscribers and you know, you know, have that personal vibe with y'all. Um, yeah, comment down below what other videos I should do next in the future. Now, let's get started with this video. Um, this name, this name, <laughs> um, the topic of this video will be how to get over a heartbreak and how to get through one. Um, me personally, I had went through this this um hold on oh, I thought that was my father but anyway um me personally I went through two heartbreaks they're not fun they're not good and um I'm sorry this piece of hair is like irritating me um they're not like in a they're not good so um me I went through two heartbreaks in my life too both of them was was with females yes um to get in more depth about that video, um, about that topic, comment down below and we'll make a video of it. But, um, yeah, I had two heartbreaks ever in my life. One was severely, severely, um, bad. Um, the second one was kind of like, you know, um, I knew this person practically when I was in high school and just didn't what is it just didn't um i don't know how to put it like it just didn't it worked out at some point but eventually like you know when you have that long distance relationship it's just certain things happen in that relationship and it just don't go well you know certain things i wish i could take back some things you know i wish she could have you know resolve certain issues that we went through but what can you say um yes so we're gonna start with the first one is to block them on all social media um block them on snapchat facebook instagram because why because you don't want to be sitting here going through a heartbreak and you just have broke up with them and you don't want to be seeing them scrolling on facebook with um suppose the um next person or see videos that they're with their friends and stuff and you're just suffering in the house you don't want to do that so as severe as it seems just block them because at the end of the day this will better for you um next one is to cry it out on how bad this really seems you have to because why because this will um well, no, I don't want to say that, but this would, um, you need to release all sadness and emotions in your body because why? Because you just lost somebody that you truly care about and your significant other that you possibly was best friends for a long period of time. Could have been, um, in a relationship for four or five, four or five years, seven plus years. I know one of my friends, they'd be in a relationship for what? six plus years going on seven and some people have been married for a decade two decades like we you're nah, i'm getting tongue-tied but um yeah you're you just lost somebody that you truly cared about that was probably been your best friend and that feels like your heart been ripped out of your chest so yes cry about it cry it out boil your eyes out if you have to um, me, I like to talk about 
my problems. If you're not a talker, I can understand that. Um, if you're not a talker, this is the thing. I was shy when I was younger. I was very, very shy. I don't know how I have friends today because me, I am a shy person. I do not like, at that time when I was younger, I did not like to talk to nobody. So if you're not a talker like me and you don't like to talk about your emotions, get a diary, get a book, you know, um, write down how you feel, write down, you know, your problems, your, your emotions or how you feeling on a certain day, what happened, how it happened, and just write it down. If you're not a talker like me, do that. But there's some people that don't like to talk about their problems. Some people that do like to talk about their problems. Me, I am a talker. Like I said, for the like, third time, I know. Um, <laughs> I'm a talker. I like to talk about my problems. Even, like, if I'm bawling my eyes out and I'm talking, I'm still talking to you. Yes, I, yes. I'm, <laughs> I'm one of them people. Like, if I'm crying, I still talk. Like, I still talk my emotions out. Um... <clears throat> Another one is to think positive, you know, um, be happy, you know, um, put yourself in a good headspace, you know, you don't want to still be, you know, six months later, a year later, two years later, still moping about this heartbreak. Yes, some people are like that today and, um, <clears throat> are still practically maybe still in a heartbreak, you know, and. It just happens. But think about what you learned from the relationship. Think about how you can better yourself from... All right. Take this as a, a lesson learned if it ended on a bad note. If it ended on a bad note, take it as a lesson learned, you know? Better yourself from learning about different scenarios from that relationship if it make if that makes sense to you um and um be selfish about yourself you know take this time to you know think about everything that don't happen and take it as a um I'm just rambling sorry but <laughs> Um, take it as a, um, yeah, lesson learned, like I said, and make it better for yourself and not make it about this other person that you lost this, this person that you truly cared about and just don't do that because it won't better yourself, you know, and we've not trying to do that in this goal. We're trying to better ourselves and be happy and be positive all the time. No negative vibes. You can't have negative vibes. Another one is to, um, oh yeah, add on to that, um, surround yourself with friends and family. I'm sorry, if I'm looking this way, I should have said that in the beginning, but if I'm looking this way, I have wrote everything down. That's why I have this, I'm flapping this pen everywhere and, you know, I'm looking at my book because I have wrote everything down. But, um, surround yourself with friends and family, you know, be around people that you love or possibly talk it out with them. Um, you know, and, um, yeah, be around friends and family that, um, that loves you and that knows you for yourself, you know, people that have known you for all these years and is just like to have you around, you know, that makes sense. Um, and then another one is that notice that this will take time. This, this heartbreak isn't going to happen overnight. Take it as a lesson learned. Take it as it, you will, it's going to take, I don't even make no sense. And I'm getting tongue-tied. Like, just talking about this topic is, like, making me nervous because I went through all of this. And it's a very hard topic for me to talk about because it was so hard for me. Yes, I had friends and family saying, oh, well, they're not worth it, you know. Um, they'll come back if they love you. What's that saying? Um, if they love you, they'll come back. I heard, I heard everything before, and it's just like it's hard for me to talk about it. And it's just like ugh, trying to relive that life again. But um, take your time when you're dealing with this. I'm telling you from experience. Um, this will take time. Take your time when you're going through all of this that I said to you. 
you know, and, um, what is it, um, just better yourself, become the better person that you, w before you was yesterday, if that makes sense, um, do something positive, do something constructive, get your mind off of that, you know, like I said, do, go for a walk, you know, go to a friend's house, go do sleepover, go out, go out to eat, go to a movie, do something to get your mind off of things like that. Um, but if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, comment down below what you, what other videos you would like to hear from me and make sure you turn on that little bell so you get notified every time when I post a video. And, um, a little tip. I want to know, um, <clears throat> from my subscribers, what do y'all want me to have? What name do y'all want me to name y'all? You know? Like, give me, give me some hints and not some, some ideas. Write me on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Comment down below. I'll see it. I'm always on YouTube all the time. So, show me some love, guys. Peace.